All right, all right. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us on this week's live stream from the Midas Foundation. I'm really excited to have Rami, our DevRel lead for the Midas Layer 2, on with us today. Um, we're going to kind of get to know him a little bit better, and then we'll talk a little bit about DevRel plans at the, at the L2. So, Rami, why don't you just tell us a little bit about your background, tell us about yourself and how you got to meet Tease. Sure, sure. Uh, first of all, thank you uh, very much for hosting uh, this show, uh, Ashley. Uh, my name is Rami, of course. Uh, I uh, come from uh, uh, a computer science background. I used to I, I used to work in uh, uh, computer security, uh, cyber security, mostly web security. Uh, used to uh, first, I started with everything. Like everything started. Uh, with the uh, CTFs, capture the flag competitions, uh, where uh, you, you would solve some uh, cybersecurity related challenges. And uh, like in, in these CTFs, it was uh, more like uh, underground hacking, but white hacking, of course. Uh, white hat hacking, sorry. Uh, also, so uh, I, I learned about the blockchain through a CTF. There was an Ethereum challenge where you need to uh, kind of like exploit a smart contract and uh, get some secret uh, from it. So that's when I started learning uh, Ethereum and I, I just fell in love with it. Uh, I So I, I started working, uh, I, I switched from cybersecurity to uh, uh, blockchain development in uh, 2021. Uh, I worked with uh, Fuse Network, uh, which is a layer one network, uh, delegated proof of stake. Uh, I did with them uh, the liquid staking. I did a stable swap, uh, worked mostly on uh, their main decks, Voltage Finance. Uh, I also, uh, me uh, meanwhile, I also developed the safe for Fuse and for uh, Metis Network, uh, the Metis safe uh, on uh, Metis. So uh, I'm, I'm very, uh, I'm very proud of uh, Metis Safe. Now, uh, almost everybody in the Metis ecosystem uses it. Uh, it uh, it secures a lot of the user funds. I also like to uh, just like do some inventions uh, for fun. I have uh, like a small tool for uh, airdrops. Uh, I'm pretty sure nobody ever heard of it, Dropper. Uh, but yeah, I, I just developed it for fun. Uh, I, uh, I I I just like to do some uh, projects for fun, and yeah, I uh, I started with Metis since I developed the Metis Safe, and uh, uh, started uh, like doing some uh, hel helping the community with some dev tasks, helping uh, the the L two uh, Econode with uh, like uh, some of the things that they need, some of the dev needs, uh, and uh, yeah, that's. Uh, uh, where we are right now, uh, leading DevRel at Metis. Well, we're really glad to have you. Um, you joined earlier this year, right? And I, um, I've, you've been able to do so much in such a short time. So we're really excited to have you on. Let's, uh, let's get to know you a little bit. So I've been going through this list of questions with everyone that we've done foundation interviews with. Um, so it'll start with like a little rapid fire section, and then it'll be more tell us a little bit about your background kind of stuff. So we'll, after that, we'll dive into DevRel focused questions and see if anybody who's watching has anything they want to ask. All right, rapid fire. Here we go. Coffee or tea? Uh, coffee. Breakfast or no breakfast? Breakfast. What do you like to have? Uh, I like to have the like Turkish breakfast. Uh, some eggs, omelet. Uh, I, I like to have like small dishes of everything, jam, honey, uh, butter, uh, feta, all, all this stuff with, uh, with the Syrian pita bread or the Lebanese pita bread. This is the very flat uh, bread. This is very nice. Yeah. That sounds amazing. This is my everyday breakfast. Yeah. Every day? Like a king? Yeah. <laughs> singing or dancing? Uh, singing. Definitely. I have some experience. Oh, yeah? A little acapella yeah. performance for us? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Not in this meeting. Maybe maybe another meeting. We, <laughs> okay. we can do a foundation acapella. <laughs> um, out on the town or cozy night in? 
Uh, actually, it depends on uh, the mood. Uh, sometimes, like, y- you need to uh, get out to, to the streets, and sometimes you, you just need to stay home. It uh, depends. <laughs> like, w- w- when, I'm, when I had a very long day, I would not like to uh, go out. I would like to just uh, stay at home, uh, chill, maybe uh, watch a movie or a documentary in the evening. But uh, if I'm feeling uh, like I can, I, I still have some energy, I would definitely go out. Nice. Yeah. Do you prefer small group gatherings or big parties? Small group, definitely. Uh, easier to keep track of everything. Yeah. Do you have a comfort food or like a favorite meal? Favorite meal. Mm. I, I don't have uh, actually favorite uh, anything. Almost I don't have a favorite thing. Like I, I, I just like uh, either like something on or don't like it fair enough fair enough um do you prefer cats or dogs Mm, cats cats i I never had a dog that's why oh okay okay do you have a cat now yeah Uh, currently no but uh, at some point i had like a big yard and uh, in the yard there was like uh, 13 cats at some point 13 (laughs) yeah (laughs) Um, do you prefer games or sports? Sports. Do you have a favorite? I mean, you just said you don't have favorites, but which ones do you like? Uh, like uh, I, I used to be a professional uh, um, biker, like a mm, how, road how bike. To say like a, a road bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to be a road biker, and uh, I used to be a, a trainer for the, the, the uh, national team in my home country. But now I, I haven't done that in a very long time. I haven't been on a bike for, for like, uh, I only uh, go on a bike for picnics now. <laughs> I don't <laughs> uh, practice the sport anymore. But uh, currently I'm, I'm learning some new things like uh, winter sports, uh, skating, skiing, uh, this stuff. I, I really like them now. Very cool. Very cool. Um, do you have a, a musician, an actor, a writer, some kind of artist that you really admire? Mm. Uh, I, I would say a musician. I like. I I, I used to like uh, uh, Frank Sinatra a lot. <laughs> Gifted Solid treasure. Point. But uh, I I used to also like uh, uh, classic rock, also a little bit. Yeah, like just uh, in general, anything. Do you have a favorite city in the world? Um. I would say the city I live in uh, right now, it's uh, in, uh, it's named Kazan. Kazan. It's a very beautiful city. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Well, how would you describe yourself um, in just a few sentences? Someone was like, who is Rami? How would you describe yourself? Uh, I would say highly motivated, hands-on, uh, uh, just do it kind of person. Uh, I, I, I would just like, if I have an idea, I would just do it spontaneous. Uh, yeah, I think, I think I'm very spontaneous. All right. Did you grow up with any sort of spiritual or religious background? And if so, is that still a part of your life? Uh, yes, I have uh, grown up with a religious uh, with a specific religion and uh, yeah it's it's still a big part of my life how has that informed your world view uh, just uh, be more forgiving uh, be more patient uh, like I, I, I definitely now uh, am uh, learning to be more patient uh, uh, and like yeah my, my religion teaches me actually to be patient to to, uh, to be accepting uh, but also questioning I like that um, what do you enjoy doing for fun for fun uh, for fun I, I like to uh, code sometimes uh, I, I actually do it for fun I like to just walk a lot I like 
winter sports like i said i i, I just uh love winter sports i hate winter <laughs> well yeah. they keep you sane in the winter i suppose you have the, something to do yeah um what is something in your life that you're most proud of um uh, I, I would say uh, being able to to give back to society, to my family, uh, b- being able to improve, uh, I would say, yeah. What's a lesson that you've had to learn the hard way? Hmm. Uh, a lesson that I had to learn the hard way, I uh, be early, always. And like... <laughs> uh, yeah, always be early. <laughs> don't don't uh, postpone anything till the next day or even at the, the next hour. Just uh, do it when you can. Not when you can. Do it now. <laughs> <laughs> do it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's something that most people would not guess about you? Uh, something that most people wouldn't guess about me, that I'm a great cook. Oh really? What, what do you have anything yeah. that you like enjoy making the most? Um, Syrian food, or like Mediterranean food uh, in general. Nice. Uh, what is something that you hate doing? Uh, applying for visas, <laughs> or like it's just uh, bureaucracy uh, in general. Yeah, yeah. Or I standing in in a line. Is there something in particular that you're working to improve in yourself or in your life? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get a new passport. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Related to the previous question. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. Do you have any advice that you'd give to your younger self, given that you are already fairly young? <laughs> advice to my younger self? Uh, yeah, yeah, just like I said before, uh, do it early, do it now, do it early and now. <clears throat> yeah, so if you weren't doing cybersecurity, you weren't working at Metis, what do you think you might do instead? What other interests do you have that you could see yourself in? I would say, um, I, I would probably be a, a professional uh, cook, or like I would have my own restaurant. Uh, otherwise, I would uh, be painting houses. I really like to. Uh, I, I never painted actually, but I, I would really love to try to paint a house. Never, you've never tried to paint a house. Well, let me tell you, it's never. It's a lot of work. <laughs> Very <laughs> cool. Um, if you could put anything on a billboard, what would it be? Do it now. Yeah. <laughs> or just. just uh just do it <laughs> this would go. be an ad for a specific company <laughs> for nike <laughs> yeah okay uh well thank you for for giving us a little bit of insight into you as a person now let's ask a few questions um about dev relic niti so when a dev comes to you or when you're talking to someone about um our niti network why should a dev choose Metis to build on? What do you say? Uh, very good question. Uh, we like we always have to uh, sell Metis to to developers. Uh, I, actually, we we have to sell uh, L two in general uh, to developers. I believe uh, the future is uh, layer two. Uh, Transactions. Uh, the future. The future. Uh, Ethereum is a big part of the future, but uh, uh, L2's scale Ethereum. Uh, the 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 everyday user is not gonna pay eighty dollars. Just like Vitalik said, the average user is not gonna pay eighty dollars for uh, a swap uh, on Ethereum. That's not how you how you get regulated. That's not how you uh, get. The the average person who who takes out a Visa Mastercard and like you just uh, puts it at the cashier and uh, pays with it. Uh, L two is here to to improve cost. Uh, L two is here to improve user experience. 
to to improve uh, to, to scale to to add to to bring the next generation of users. So uh, you you need to be on you need to be building on L two uh, uh, right now. Uh, Ethereum would be uh, I, I would see Ethereum in the future to be like a uh, a network of networks, not a network of users. It, it, it would be like a network of networks or a network of like very big users or like very advanced users, but it's not uh, for the the everyday job. Uh, the, the everyday user needs needs uh, cheap transactions. Needs uh, th- th- does not need to to look under the hood. Does not need this uh, high security, high dis- uh, high decentralization. Uh, th- they need fast transactions. They need cheap transactions, and they need security. That's what they need. They don't need like uh, the high level, uh, 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 sorry, the, the very low level uh, things that Ethereum provides. Uh, I would say, yeah, to to get most of the users. Uh, and since now we are shaping the layer twos. We are paving the way for the the layers two to come, and like we're uh, doing a lot uh, of research, doing trying to advance a lot with uh, decentralization, security. Uh, uh, every day we're we're becoming closer to like to uh, to to be um, the place to be uh, as an L two. Awesome! Thank you. Um, what are some frequently asked questions that you get from people looking to build on the Metis network? Uh, I, I get a lot of, uh, questions about how to start, how, how to start building, how to start learning, especially from, uh, web two developers who, who are, uh, looking to join the uh, network or start building on the blockchain in general and uh, Metis in specific. Uh, I always say, like it, it's uh, if you're a web uh, if you're a web two developer, you've already uh, made it ninety percent of the way to start uh, developing web three applications because uh, web three is uh, like a big keyword in my opinion. It's it's not uh, people uh, people stop at web three and uh, be like, oh, this is like a career change. No, it's uh, it's literally not. It's like uh, it's software engineering. Right, but more fancier and like uh, cooler, in my opinion. Actually, uh, same concept, same everything uh, applies in Web three. Uh, same, almost same infrastructure, uh, with this small layer of uh, smart contracts added. And uh, smart contracts, in my opinion, like uh, as a Web two, uh, as a Web three developer, uh, in your first uh, one to two years, you're uh, very unlikely to touch a smart contract you would like you would be only mostly reading smart contracts all right uh interacting with them but you would uh you would probably not write a smart contract or you would like write a small uh tool smart contract but you would not write uh, like a, uh you, you would not participate in uh, the bigger smarter contracts uh, smart contracts i mean like the smarter contracts actually uh yeah so just uh, take your Web2 experience, join us. Uh, it, it's very easy. There's uh, not much actually to learn. You can just uh, start deploying contracts or start uh, interacting with them. And uh, yeah. What resources do we have uh, that you would direct people to if they're looking to learn about how to deploy on the Metis network? Uh, we have our uh medium we have we have some tutorials on medium we're uh, currently we're trying to have more tutorials we're trying to have a uh, sort of like a portal for uh, developers to like uh, to have their go-to place for tutorials uh we uh, developers can also go to our docs uh, can go to our uh, telegram group it, it would be more helpful to go to our telegram group and ask you questions or uh, seek help from somebody. There is always some someone uh, who's uh, willing to help, willing to like uh, direct you in the right way, uh, give you the right tutorial, give you the right article. Uh, because sometimes it can be uh, difficult to find. Uh, 
But yeah, I would say uh, Docs, uh, Medium, and Telegram. And uh, most important is Telegram. Nice. I know you've done some um, some workshops recently, just kind of explaining the basics of deploying a smart contract and things like that. And we've put videos of those workshops on our YouTube channel. Um, so those are also there for people if they want to go check those yeah. out. Um, all right. Any upcoming plans or developments for the DevRel team that you want to share with the community? Uh, yeah. So we are right now trying to improve the docs, trying to make them more uh, developer and user friendly uh, for uh, everyone who like. We're trying to separate actually the developer docs uh, for the developer who wants to build on Metis from the user docs or the the network specification docs. So uh, here we would have uh, a more developer friendly place for developers to know what's on the protocol, what uh, w w what protocols do we have deployed, what uh, capabilities they can use. Like for example, for bridges, uh, there's this A protocol, B protocol. We would list them. We would uh, like sh show them all the capabilities that can be built. Uh, we want to also have uh, like problem statements for the problems that our dev team encounters in developing consensus uh, uh, so, so that the we can pick the brains of our uh, developer communities uh, so that they can like participate in uh, in scaling ethereum participate in uh, making Metis more decentralized more secure uh, I, I would say also we're we're planning to have uh, a lot of partnerships with uh, a lot of good dev tools that are uh, really needed on uh, the Metis blockchain. We're trying to make it uh, more developer friendly right now. Very cool. Awesome. Well, is there anything else you want to share before we wrap up today's call? Uh, I, I would like to... Uh, to just tell everybody who's uh, trying to get into uh, blockchain development or uh, Ethereum Metis development to just uh, uh, read a smart contract, see how, how uh, the Solidity language works, uh, try to interact with a smart contract. And uh, uh, next thing, uh, try to find something to do, try to find a bounty or, uh, or even a job. Uh, and uh, I hope to onboard at least one developer uh, from today's call into uh, the blockchain. Awesome. Thank you so much, Rami. Really appreciate you taking the time to talk with us today. And uh, we'll, we'll talk soon. Thank you very much, Ashley. Thanks.